All right, let's take a look at neutralization reactions. This won't take very long because you pretty much already know it. So neutralization means when you add an acid to a base, the result is going to be a neutral salt and water. Okay, that's your definition. Now really all this means is that this is a double displacement reactions. Uh, the acid provides H plus and some anion, right? So hydrochloric acid, H plus, and Cl minus chloride, or uh, sulfuric acid, H plus, and sulfate, SO4, two minus. The base provides some cation, like potassium or sodium or calcium or aluminum and hydroxide ions. And when you put hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions together, you get water, which is neutral, has a pH of seven. So the cation, and the anion together combine to make that neutral salt. Okay, so it's just a double displacement reaction. Here's an example: hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide. You could write the you could write the equation for this right now. You don't need my help, but this is what it would look like: HCl plus NaOH. We know we're going to switch the partners, right? The H will go with the OH. The Na will go with the Cl. You'll get sodium chloride. That's our neutral salt, and water. Okay. So the HCl is the acid, the NaOH is the base, the sodium chloride is the salt, and then we get water. Water is neutral, pH of 7. The salt, sodium chloride, neutral. It's not acidic or basic, so that's why it's called neutralization. Uh, sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide, same thing. This time we have to put a 2 in front of the KOH because we need two hydroxides for these two hydrogens. And we need two potassiums for the sulfate to get K2SO4. That's our neutral salt. And H2O, that's water. So that's how it works. There's really not much to it. Uh, they're double displacement reactions. You'll always get a salt and water. Waters are our uh, liquid, which makes this work as a double displacement reaction.